Ladies and gentlemen, in today's video, we are going to be taking a look at these really strange and really weird Pokemon mystery power packs. So let's check these out. What's good, everybody? Darkle here, back at it again with another video. But in today's video, ladies and gentlemen, as you guys saw from the thummy and the title, we are going to be taking a look at, you know, some very strange boxes. Now, these are called the six pack power box. You feel me? Thunder edition. Now, we have opened up a product that was very similar to this in the past. I'm not sure if it had the same amount of packs and contents within or if it's just like an updated version or a better version. I'm not sure. But like I said, in this box, you actually receive six booster packs as well as one promo card. Now, since this is the Thunder Edition, I am assuming that the promo card is obviously, you know, an electric promo card or somewhere along those lines. But guys, in this video, we're basically going to be taking a look and seeing if this product is worth your money. Now, I did pay $19.98 for this box. Now, realistically, that is actually a very good price for six packs as well as a promo card. So you are definitely getting a deal when it comes to this box right here. Now here is the side of the box, basically giving you a quick rundown of what comes inside, you feel me? Now it gives you guys six random packs from recent releases and it contains one hard to find promo card. So that confirms it right there, guys. The promo card that we get from here, it has to be something very difficult to obtain. Otherwise, this is false advertisement, you feel me? So you are in too deep, Mr. MJ Holding Company, because if it's not a card that's very difficult to find, I'm gonna be disappointed. But then here is another quick rundown of what comes inside. Six packs, one promo. So guys, we're not just gonna be opening up one in this video. We got two of these bad boys, because two is better than one. Y'all already know that is always the case in every single situation or most situations that is but guys if you guys are excited for today's video make sure you guys smash that like button right now let's try and get this video to 750 likes y'all already know we can do it because we are the ghoul army and also make sure you guys subscribe and join the ghoul army as well and if you guys leave a comment with the hashtag ghoul army you could be featured in a video like these lovely individuals that you see right here on the screen with that being said guys we're just going to go ahead and dive right into the six pack power mystery boxes. Can you even call them mystery boxes? I'm honestly not sure. But I almost forgot one thing. We got the star of the show and we are definitely going to be putting that for this video. And let me just go ahead and open up this box. And honestly, I'm just really curious to know what is. Oh my God. Can I seriously not open this, bro? seriously dude come on okay there we go Woo! oh my god that took way too long bro that took honestly way too long but as i was saying guys i am super curious to know what is the promo card that we're going to get in this box as i struggle to continue to open this box like really dargul really 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 but guys we are now going to reveal or do a quick money shot of what's inside this box so in three two and one money shot and there it is right there guys so it looks like the promo card is right there now unfortunately it is not like a sealed promo card or somewhere along those lines so let's go ahead and see exactly what is the promo card that we received do you feel me so it better be something juicy or it better be that heat so let's go ahead. It's an Ashes Pikachu promo card. So honestly, I feel like the past, you know, Thunder box that we opened up from Walmart actually had the same promo card, which is an Ashes Pikachu. I choose you promo card. You know, it's basically a movie promo card when the movie itself actually released. 
So it's not a bad promo card, but it's not the best, you feel me? Obviously, it's not the sealed one, so that makes it even more worse. But guys, 1998, that is not a bad value. It all depends on what kind of packs do we have now right off the bat. I see evolutions, you feel me? And these guys claim that it is six packs from recent releases. I don't know about you guys, but I believe evolutions came out like around 2016, bro. It literally came out on 2016. And you're telling me that is a recent release. Well then, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe it's 2019, not 2016. It's all good because it's evolution, so we're gonna let it slide, you feel me? So let's see what else we got. We got Crap Siege, everybody, another XY set. We got Crap Scalide, another XY set, bro. We got Sun and Moon Base, which is good. Guardians Rising, which is good, and another Guardians Rising. So obviously, we're gonna do Guardians Rising last, then Sun and Moon, then Evolutions, and then we're gonna do the crappy sets, which is Steam Siege and Fates Collide. So let's just go ahead and dive right into this. I'm very disappointed in the pack selection because I was honestly hoping for like team up or something along those lines, but we got ourselves Crap Collide to start things off everybody. So let's see what kind of bangers we can get. But like I said, 1998, that's honestly not a bad value for a box like this because it's somewhat of a mystery and it's something that you don't see every day and it's definitely a better value than those mystery cubes that you see going on out there. So we got ourselves a Cinchino, a Solosis, and we got the Regirock EX, everybody. That right there, ladies and gentlemen, is a very, very nice piece as I'm trying to reach my sleeves. But like I said, bro, Regirock is a very amazing Pokemon. My favorite out of all of the Regis there is hands down let me know who is your favorite is it regirock registeel or reggie ice or maybe you like reggie gigas you feel me let me know in the comments down below but for me it's gonna have to be regirock and right off the bat we are starting things off with a banger as we get a very beautiful white code from steam siege so this might be a double banger you feel me if this is a double banger then i am honestly gonna go insane so guys, we got ourselves a Dino Litleo Fletchinger, and let's see what's the final card, guys. We got the Hydreigon, shout out to Hydreigon. Such a beast looking Pokemon. And then, we got the Steelix EX. Full freaking art, everybody. It is a full art, ladies and gentlemen. Double bangers, back to back. That is amazing. You know what's funny, guys? I'm over here talking crap about Steam Siege and Fates Collide, and they literally provided your boy with double bangers. Literally with double bangers. And I'm honestly low-key feeling bad that I keep talking smack about these sets, and now I'm just here thinking, like, maybe I'm being too hard on Fates Collide and Steam Siege. Because, in fact, I do appreciate when they come through with the pools especially when other sets do not come through with the pools maybe like this evolutions pack but when you get a green code in evolutions you do have a chance at getting a break and we got ourselves an energy card a holographic energy card which is not bad to get because holographic energies it's the wave you feel me it is the wave as we got ourselves a Mewtwo going straight into the personal collection and then we got a flying Pikachu secret rare. Now y'all already know that evolution secret rares are worth basically nothing, but it's still very nice to get a secret rare, a holographic energy and a Mewtwo card when we got a green code. You feel me? At least we are getting something and I am forever grateful. So guys, we are three packs deep and I am very satisfied with the results so far from this box. And we still got two more packs after this Sun and Moon base, but if you get a green code in Sun and Moon base, you basically get nothing because there is no prisms, there is no breaks, there is nothing to substitute for that reverse slot. 
So we got ourselves two Guardians Rising. I'm actually going to go ahead and save Lycanroc for last because I do love Lycanroc much more than Tapu Coco. But don't get me wrong, I still love Tapu Coco. So here is the code card for you guys right there as we get a Rayquaza Rare Reverse right there. So that's actually not too bad. But let's see what we end things off with. We got ourselves another green coat, everybody. So there it is. I'm over here talking smack about Crap Siege and Craps Collide and that the good packs are not providing me nothing and the packs that I consider bad are providing me the goods. We got two EX cards and then a Secret Rare, a Holographic Energy from the packs that I didn't really like. And now I'm over here feeling like a Psyduck. Was that appropriate to use? I'm not sure. But guys, that is the first box. Like I mentioned, these are $19.98 for a box like this. And why can't I open this, man? Give me one second, y'all. I'm struggling for real. A few moments later. All right, guys, after all of these years, I finally got it open. We got the second box unleashed let's see exactly oh my god did i really not even open this properly because now i'm struggling again okay we got it but as i was saying guys let's see what kind of bangers we can get from this second box and instead of a money shot we're just gonna go ahead and dive right into it because i am curious to know what kind of promo card did we get from this power box so we got ourselves our six cards or six packs as we get another Ashes Pikachu holographic. Actually, scratch that. It's not a holographic. I'm tripping. But we got ourselves another movie promo card right here of Ashes Pikachu. So it's nothing too crazy. And for the packs themselves, we got another Guardians Rising. So it looks like the pack selection is basically the same. You feel me? So that is actually unfortunate because they claim to have recent releases in this box. But half of these packs are xy you feel me that is not a recent release bro three years ago is not a recent release definitely not in my book but we're just gonna go ahead and dive right into these next packs and see if we can get a couple more bangers to seal the deal okay so we got ourselves steam siege which was a green code we got ourselves the xerneas rare reverse and a chump Luff regular rare so we did not start off with a banger compared to the previous box. That is unfortunate because that means it's going to make it even much more harder for us to get a banger in these sun and moon packs because at least in these XY sets, we do have a chance at getting some breaks. But guys, one more thing I did want to mention is on my Instagram, I actually released a giveaway on there. So if you guys do want to join the giveaway that I have on Instagram, just follow the link to my Instagram in the description down below. But I will also be putting my username right here on the screen at X. I recommend you guys join the giveaway, you know, just for a chance to win something. There is three winners on that giveaway and I will be announcing the winners on the set date that I have on the post. But with that being said, guys, we are now moving on to our three sun and moon packs. And if I don't get anything from this box, then I might get a little bit furious. And we got ourselves a green code in Sun and Moon base. That basically means nothing. Okay, it all comes down to these two packs right here, ladies and gentlemen. Two packs of Guardians Rising, y'all. Oh, baby! I love seeing white codes. I love white codes. All right, guys, so here is the code card. For y'all right there, and we are going to go ahead and do four to the front. I'm not going to feel the back of the card because I have a habit of doing that. I have no idea why because I'm curious to know, like, if it's going to be a banger or if it's going to be, you know, a holographic or something along those lines. So we got ourselves the Victini and we got the Machamp. Oh, my God, you ruined the suspense. Why you got to do your boy like that, Machamp? Why do you got to do your boy like that? So let's just go ahead and put the disappointment down there in the pile of the goods. And it all comes down to this pack right here, ladies and gentlemen. This pack of Lycanroc. Never mind. Let's just keep it rolling, guys. Let's just keep it rolling because we got 
a dud box. So ladies and gentlemen, there you have it, opening up two of these pack power boxes, Thunder Edition. We obviously got two promo cards, you know, of Ash's Pikachu movie promos. If these have any significant value of over $1 for any of the cards that we pulled, I will be putting the values on the screen, but we got ourselves two promo cards right here. They are not hard to find, so I have no idea why they are inserting this promo card in this box. Probably because there is not a lot of electric type promos, so that is an L on their part. And then we got ourselves a Machamp Holographic, we got a Flying Pikachu, Secret Rare, and I absolutely love the artwork on this card. We got a Mewtwo, which is for personal preferences, and then we got a Holographic Energy card, which surprisingly enough, it might be the most expensive card we got so far. But guys... We are now getting into the Ultra Rares. We got the Regirock EX right here. Very, very nice card. And I actually used to use this card a lot in previous decks when XY was relevant in the online TCGO. But nowadays, Regirock does not... It's basically not useful. You feel me? So that is one of the EX cards that we got. And then for the star of the show, we got ourselves a Steelix EX Full Art, everybody. So I'm honestly kind of relieved that we got at least one Full Art in this opening because like I said, I paid $19.98 for those boxes. And now I'm going to talk a little bit about the price and if you should get this box. No, I don't recommend this box. Don't get me wrong. $19.98 for six packs and one promo card is a super, super deal. It is a very nice deal, in my opinion, and if it offered better packs, then I would recommend it. But the packs they are offering you are EX packs and early Sun and Moon sets that don't really have the goods, you feel me? Guardians Rising is a decent set. It's a very good set, do not get me wrong. But Sun and Moon Base, Evolution, Steam Siege, Fates Collide... Those are really not sets you want to be paying for, especially for the price of the box, you feel me? But like I said, it's still a very nice box to get if you haven't opened up one of these boxes, but overall, I don't really recommend it. The pool ratios are completely random because it's Pokemon cards, you feel me? It is a gamble. But without further ado, guys, hopefully you did enjoy today's video. Make sure you guys smash that like button, and without further ado, I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.